Hello everyone, here I have an Arduino CNC shield. It's used for controlling stepper motors. And this shield is really great for making projects like sand tables or anything that uses stepper motors. So the very first mod that I wanna do is to be able to power the Arduino Uno and the shield at the same time. To do that, I'm gonna put the power to the VN pin. And so on the board, on the sixth pin from the left, I'm going to have a jumper wire and this connects to the VN pin to your Arduino. And I'm going to connect it to the, the fuse, the in, input of the fuse that you would normally have the VN for your power voltage that goes to your stepper motors. So just with a simple uh, wire, a jumper wire, then we can basically connect the VN to the VN of our Arduino. So then when uh, I connect the board to my Arduino Uno, that pin goes in to VID. And then I can just power the Arduino Uno, and that will also power my uh, the shield board there. And you can see it's spinning right there. I don't need to use the five volts to power my Arduino Uno as well. The other mod that I wanna be able to do is if I add more than one motor, you'll notice that all the stepper motors only have one enable pin in it, and that's pin eight. And I found that out looking at the printed circuit boards. So looking carefully at the very top right hand corner, there are all the enable pins are connected. And then they go to pin uh, eight, like this d diagram right here. So they're all in series. So my idea is I'm going to isolate one of the boards here. I'm just gonna cut the trace and then D8 will uh, be able to enable one with the second motor and then the other motors are going to attach to the resistor. There's a resistor that goes to the 3.3 rail and on the other side of that resistor you can put uh, connected to digital port 13 or 12. I ended up using digital port 12 and the, the trace is just right here and so it just requires a razor blade to cut that and that will just isolate uh, the X and Y axis so that I can individually enable them as I wish. Because even if you are using one of the motors spinning, the other one's not spinning, it has to be enabled for the other motor to spin. But sometimes I want the other motor to spin freely in my gear, uh, gear designed sand table that I'm uh, currently creating. So that's why I'm doing this mod. It's not too hard to get the extra enable pin. Just if you flip it over, they have spin enable. And I'm not using that uh, pin anyways. So digital pin uh, 12. I'm gonna, just gonna use a jumper wire from going from the digital pin 12. Just go over, over to that resistor uh, there like that. And now I have both uh, of them spinning, but I can now go into the code and enable or disable because I have enable pin eight and enable pin 12 for the X axis. So I can individually control one motor. You can see that one motor is just spinning, the other motor is not spinning and therefore it won't warm up if I want. And it also will freely spin. And that's what I want that I can freely spin because I want it to be freely spinning as the other gear is spinning. So that's how to mod your CNC board and get some more useful um, enable features and also power features for your CNC and stepper motor projects. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.